Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by and check them out. SoCal on Facebook contacted me and asked if I would hone up his SK2. Now this razor was designed by Saito and he was famous in Japan in the 1950s and 60s. If you're interested in Saito's SK2 Extreme Smiling Blade, you can go to historyrazors.wordpress.com and in the menu on the right hand side, you can click on him and check it out. Let's get to the hone of the day. Here's what the bevel looks like on the SK2 on the front side and it seems to be pretty even and now we're getting close to the heel and it and it got thinner got thinner and then picked back up a little bit at the end on the back side of the sk2 we've got a nice bevel and it seems to be fairly even until we get to the heel and then it thins out again on at the heel picks up a little bit there at the end okay the first thing we're going to do is tape the spine on this razor there we go and i'm going to start in the middle and i'm going to work back and forth just like that and we're going to pinch those ends off there we go and we are all set and ready to go with this blade now what we will be using tonight is my Shapton 8k and this is a ceramic stone so it doesn't need to be soaking i just got it wet right before we uh turned on the camera yeah all right now let me show you the way this blade is made it has an extreme smile and it also can't really be honed and straightened the way I would normally do a razor. So these, we have to do a rolling X stroke on them. So what I'm going to do, just make sure and get that stone nice and wet again. And let's do some rolling X strokes. And I am paying particular attention to the heel on this, trying to uh, straighten out that bevel. And as you see, the water going is undercutting quite nicely on this blade. Now, Let's check the bevel. Oh yeah, very nice. We have a nice bevel on this now. 
let's go ahead and do 30 rolling X strokes. All right, let's stop there. That's starting to feel pretty good. And that bevel is looking decent. Let's go ahead and put it on the microscope and check. Now here is the front side of that blade with the bevel. Now that we've got it somewhat more straightened out and more even still trails off a little bit on the heel and here is the back side back side is looking good oh yeah all the way to the heel all right that's looking pretty good now we are going to run 15 X strokes.
And now this is with little or no pressure. And we're just rolling that X stroke. All right, that feels good right there. All right. Very nice, very nice. That has got a nice edge on it. Got a nice bevel. And absolutely has got a great bevel. Marvelous. We're good. Now we're going to move on to my ILR. All right, this is the finishing stone, and this is a nice stone. Puts a good edge on a razor. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the water and I'm going to get a little stream going. Doesn't have to be much, but a little bit. We still have the tape on the spine. And then got my Imperia. La Roca and this is really a fine finishing stone and basically how you use it is under running water and you just do X strokes and with this blade we're going to do rolling X strokes And we're going to do that until that blade gets nice and sticky. And it's starting to get sticky already. And again, this is no pressure.
right now that is really sticky at this point I almost can't move it and I'm not pressing down on it I'm just using my finger and my thumb to guide that blade and roll it that's all I'm using that for is a pivot point all right so now that blades nice and sticky I'm gonna turn up the water and let's get a better hydroplane effect there we go that has helped make it not as sticky Okay, now it's starting to get sticky again. Okay, now we're getting sticky again. That's it for the ILR finishing stone and we are in business with the SK2 next we're using my 30 degree strop and with this we're going to put 60 laps on that blade on the smooth leather side Let's do this. Sixty laps on the Saito SK2 Extreme Smiling Blade. Time for the hanging hair test. Let's see if this is shave ready or not.
Yeah, on the heel, on the mid blade. Yeah. And the toe. Yep. All right. That passes the hanging hair test. That's how I would keep my Saito SK2 straight razor shave ready all the time with my Shapton 8K ceramic stone and my Imperia La Roca, and this is the premium 12 to 15,000 stone. And I used my 30 degree strop that was 60 laps on smooth leather only. All right, now you can click right up here to see how to align your straight razor getting the GD208 straight. All right, thank you so much. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. You can click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.